We are Optical Search. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Priyani, current Vice President of Optics Usage. We send our product greeting from the entire Usage Optics chapter to the main of Optics student chapter and these advisors are here. In this video, we will tell you a little about who we are and what we do as a chapter. We hope that you will be motivated to tell us about your service so we can get to know age all the better. The group was founded in 2008. Its leading members have been physical engineering students. We are currently approximately 20 active members. Hi, my name is Andrea. As chapter, we have conducted various outreach activities, such as an optics and photon conference, directed by Viviana Claveria, who accompanied you, uh, astrophotography camp, optics classes, and exposition in schools, and science fair for both the community and high schooler. We have also taken part in marches for science. We organize Opticuentos, a public contest of short story related to optics. We have also conducted conferences on campus where professors of the faculty have presented, as well as optic ambassadors and other guests. We even went on a field trip to observe the solar eclipse of 2020 in the south of Chile, where a talk was given on the subject. Here's a picture. Due to bad weather conditions, there wasn't much to see, but we had a great time regardless. During the pandemic, we were forced to change our meetings from face to face to virtual platforms. We continue with the Jacana Talk Cycle, inspired by the topics from the Young Jacana Seminar, which will take place next year here in Chile. Of course, you are well invited to come and participate of this student encounter. During this period, we also developed two UVC disinfection devices to donate to public hospitals under the UV Cabinet program. It has been the first technical work carried out by Optical such as a group, which has been a wonderful experience full of new knowledge and growth as a group. Together with other countries from Latin America, we are working on the Ibero-American Congress of Physics Students in Spanish. Its objective is to strengthen the bonds between undergraduate and postgraduate students and researchers. We are arranging visits to develop optics-related workshops for children at La Bandera Community School, where we will bring various interactive, entertaining and educational projects to bring this beautiful branch of physics closer to the children. Hello, my name is Amira Rundes Dean. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Mozambique. Currently studying my first year of astrophysics in the University of Santiago de Chile. We have four different laboratories related to optics in our university. One of them is the Semiconductors and Optics Laboratory, a place where research is specially based on environmental problems such as urban pollution and whose director is Professor Ernesto Gramsci, who is also our actual professor advisor. There is also the Photometry and Radiometry Laboratory, which is centered in climate change research by taking atmospheric samples from the north of Chile to the very south in Antarctica, and whose director is Dr. Raúl Cordero. There is also the Miro Group, in charge of Dr. Felipe Herrera and Dr. Dinesh Pratap. Their research is carried out in quantum optics and manufacture of nanomaterials, preparing for the quantum computer technology. Finally, there is the Laboratory of Lasers, whose research is based on tunable diode lasers. Its director is Dr. Ignacio Olivares. If you are ever interested in contacting any of these labs, please do not hesitate and tell us. We can be the bridge to start a nice conversation. My job consists on the development of low-cost but robust measurement instruments. I am currently working on my engineering physics thesis where I must design, develop, calibrate, and implement a, a gas telemetry device to determine the efficiency of a biofilter in the wastewater uh, treatment plant. Hello, everybody. This is Pablo Fredes. I am professor in the physics department in the University of Santiago de Chile. I am working now with solid state lighting in ultraviolet range, and we are applying ultraviolet light to disinfect surface water and air to prevent infections. And I got my own company here in Santiago de Chile called Hydralux, and I sent like a gift and a special device based on ultraviolet light to disinfect surface 
in medical ambient or surface in other kind of ambient to prevent the infections, especially COVID-19. Enjoy the gift, keep in contact, and I hope to see you in any place around the world. Regards and thank you. The Atacama Desert, where one of the largest point of actual observation is presented, such as the Alma Observatory, which, in addition to other great discoveries it has made, was was one of the potential telescopes in obtaining the image of the black hole located in the center of our galaxy. Chile has been really difficult to discover, looking for an answer that solves this discommunication across the land and the great spectrum of existing legislative problems, in this point is where we end up in a constitutional change. We are waiting to hear from you! Bye! Bye. Bye.